Hi there, this is the LEGO City uh, set 60041 Crook Pursuit unboxing and review. There are 38 pieces, building toy, warning. Um, here's a, an actual size of one of the minifigures and there's the crook. Wondering why the guy's posing for something in front of a box. Um, there's some more generic stuff here. Not this not the three side onions um, and of course this guy gets arrested after being chased by a policeman and there's that little thing there and what else there's some stuff here components made in different parts of the world there we go and uh price for me was $8.95. Let me just peel this off. I don't want to see that again. And there's some random coding here. 03R4. I'm sure it's relevant to one of you. And um, let's see, that's a finger or a thumb. I'll just do whatever it says because it's smart. Or not really. There we go. There, there we go. I suppose that's how you do it. All we're interested is in the little bag. This piece of instruction and this really giant piece. Hmm. Hmm, okay, so um, yeah, this is really strange. Some people might call it a poopy piece or poop. Piece of one piece. Um, pure oversized one piece, something like that. Anyway, here's the bag. Here's the instructions. A man and a policeman to make everything interesting. And okay, so I'll start unboxing. Here we go. And this is still a strange piece, but I'm gonna have to live with it. Now let's go through with the instructions. Ah, this guy who dumps all the random bags out doesn't know what to do? Question mark with just a random pile. Yes, you're supposed to sort pieces, then put them together according to the instructions. And those are the minifigures. Good thing that doesn't happen in real life. You get assembled by random parts, and you end up the way you do. Alrighty, so let's work on the minifigures first. Let's skip all the sorting and hope that my my color scan works. My organic color scan. Okay, this little thief bag. I'm guessing this printing on the neck helps uh, with friction when you put the head on. I'm not sure. Possibly to keep his head from popping off. Here is the bad guy with a nice beard. He's probably st going to steal some money just because he needs a new razor blade or something. As you can see the detailing on his face. Focus camera. Focus. It refuses to focus. Uh, okay. It's it's trying to, but it doesn't want to believe. Uh. All right, let's uh, skip that part and put on the bad guy hat. Strangely enough, they wear hats like this. Come on, you can focus. Here we go. Oh. Focus. Come on, you can do it. There, it's trying. It's trying. 
Nah, it's giving up on me. Alrighty. Next, I'm going to build the officer. Let's try to speedrun this. There's his nice little blue pants. His blue uniform for torso. There's his head. And of course, what's a head? Without a helmet. Well, and the visor. Nice little visor that snaps on. Pretty sure this is not how it's done in real life. It swings it up and down. And what wouldn't be a police chase be without a pole vault? Let's drag the Olympics in here. So let's just quickly snap these pieces into play. Get this little hurdle going. And of course, some nice profile bricks. Literally bricks that look like bricks. So at the back it looks like that, and in the front it looks more like that. And of course this is more just for background, so I'll put that there. And next I'll build the motorcycle. You'll get this other strange looking piece, two of these things, and insert them right in here. One there, and one there, just like so. And after that, you get some, a couple of tires. Come here. There you go. Now, if making vehicles were this easy, let's snap this on and snap this one. Now we got a nice little bicycle, but we need to brand it with the police. So, put this on top somehow obviously it should work somehow and uh, like this I am hopefully hopelessly confused where does it snap on oh those things I believe hook onto this part so snap that in this is very unlike a Wii. And uh, next I'll need some of these. Just like that. I'll put this here. I'll put, whoops, don't want that. I'm gonna put this here and put this here. And of course, Put these two pieces here to brand it with the police sign. Apparently I'm supposed to put stickers here. Uh, as you can see, police, put that there. But of course I um, don't like using stickers. Ah, there's the stickers. There we go. Let's leave the box here in the corner. Stickers. I don't like it. They're perishable. Not like food, but still perishable. Okay, let's put that back in. I didn't want to stay last time. There. We got that in, hopefully. And next, we've got this really interesting 1x2 plate with a little hand thing. As you can see, I'm pretty sure that's important. Let's get this thing here. A radio antenna or something. Something to say, I'm a police car! Well, it reminds me of those things that you uh, see, like poles when you are in a crowded little supermarket. You can see if you're about to turn a corner and bump into someone. So I'll shove this here as a light, make it look more like a lamp, and I'll get this um, um, thing for the wrist. Uh, I forgot what they call, they call these things. Um, Handcuffs, there we go. But um, these are more likely to be arm cuffs, possibly. And that's the end of this one. And huh. that is it for the instructions. So here we have a little nice bicycle thing. We have a robber. And we've got to put his newfound 
shaving fund money here. Here, let's see. These are one by two plates. Come on, focus. Come on. Okay. Anyway, uh, you, as you might be able to see, it's there are hundred dollar bills, and they go perfectly in his backpack, and uh, he can start pole vaulting. So we've got one spare tire, very nice of Lego, one spare doohickey, and another set of handlebars for the policeman. Let's put that here. Alrighty, he doesn't like gripping handcuffs, there we go. And um, one extra blue stud, one extra visor, and what's a bad guy without his crowbar? So we'll give him one of these little red crowbars, which is actually handy for um, building with Lego, I, I hear. Like it. It's an interesting tool. So here we go, he's running away. Jumping over this fence here, looks like it would, which is kind of useless because he could just comically run around and he left his money. Anyway, there is no apparent reason why the policeman should arrest him just because he has stripes, uh, he has no way of removing his facial hair and everything. He might as well sit down like this. And the policeman, if he really wanted to be mean, his hat came off, there we go. If you really wanted to be mean, you could arrest the guy with the with the cuff thing and try to put it on his hand. Okay, it doesn't look like it's really possible for him to get it. Okay. Uh, there we go. It just barely fits on a guy and really it's just they're not handcuffs they're more of wrist cuffs as you can see and um, while the guy sits like this with his money still intact for a shaving fund in a strange awkward position in front of the fence the police guy can actually stand here no actual seats, so technically he should arrest himself, and he can actually control the place. There are little handlebars here, as you can see. So if you are really careful, you can get him to grab it. And here we go. Ready? Yep. Now he's tilting slightly forward. Visor down, and now he's off to the race. Oh boy, oh boy. These things got to be adjusted so he can stand properly. And now he can ride away forgetting about the bad guy. So, that was the Crook Pursuit Lego City set. Set number 60041 with the money. The... Nice thing to jump over, even though you could comically go around. More the poopy motorcycle and the police officer. Alright, so I figured out what was wrong with the uh, autofocus. So, basically I can't zoom in. I'll just have to uh, keep, put things closer. But uh, yeah, so that's their face here. As you can see, nice good detail. And over here is the police guy. It's a nice little visor hat. And here's the hundred uh, dollar one by two plate. This might have a hard time focusing. There we go. Looks very cartoony. Anyway, that is all.